while the world is focused on chasing the latest and the flashiest, we pace ourselves so we can dive deep in what really matters. We hold firm to our beliefs and refuse to be swayed. We curate the technology to enable your daily experience with the raw power necessary to be effortless and smooth. We surpass ourselves every day, showing our passion, perseverance, and potential to the world. This is Poco, focusing on innovations that truly matter. Poco. Since I was young, speed was the driving force behind all my motivations. It drove me to reach new heights, to represent my country on the world stage. It gives me that adrenaline rush to get through all obstacles, to give it my all. It pushes me to conquer my goals and emerge a winner. Few things share the same passion, the same thirst for speed, the same desire for never slowing down. The Poco F2 Pro, with Snapdragon 865, is one of the fastest phones in the world. To prove itself as worthy of the title, it delivers as one of the first 5G smartphones in Pakistan, with one of the highest Antutor benchmark scores in the world. With a 64 megapixel quad camera setup, it captures 8K ultra clear videos, so that I never miss a shot.
I'm Rabab Hashim, your host for the evening at this unique digital launch of POCO by Xiaomi Pakistan. I hope you guys are doing well and I really hope you're taking good care of yourselves and your loved ones. So basically, we are here to reveal this really exciting, really fun device to you all, which is the POCO. And we have an evening full of surprises for you all. But before we begin any of that, I would like to first invite on stage Mr. Sufyan Ahmad, the marketing manager, who's going to join us here and tell us all about the device. Hello everyone, how's everyone doing today? Welcome to Pakistan's first POCO's launch event today. And thank you all for joining us on the stream today. My name is Sufyan and I'm the marketing manager. Some of you maybe remember, from the recent launches we had. Very excited to be here again. And we have a very, very exciting POCO product to share with you today. But before we dive into the device today, I want to share this specific line with you guys. Everything you need, nothing you don't. It is the very core of the POCO brand. It also our product philosophy. 
all of our devices are built based on this philosophy. The first product, the POCO F1, a device that still be discussed till this day, it just hit two years old six weeks ago. This was the phone that kicked off the POCO brand. It disrupted the market and really created a new space of its own. Great performance with a great price. Truly the master of speed. And then earlier, this year, we came back and launched the POCO F2 Pro, the powerfully cool phone. It inherited the spirit from the first generation POCO and was a true flagship killer. At the time launch, it was one of the most affordable Snapdragon 865 phone with a true full screen display. By following our product philosophy, once again, we were crowned an excellent all-rounder. I had a blast using this phone, really provided me the ultimate performance that I wanted. And that's really because we have delivered standard products in the past, products that had disrupted the market. We stood out with our flagship killers in the phone market. Well, today, we're going to do it again, but in the different segment. Today, at POCO, at the mid-range segment, we will be even more detailed. POCO knows exactly what you need. So first we asked ourselves, what are people thinking for a mid-range phone? Well, first, we took a look at mid-rangers. They are made by other brands. They usually try to build an all-rounder with a price tag with 400 euros or more. And they tend to end up trying to focus on one or two features. Some of may focus on camera, some may focus on battery, but mainly they aim for affordability, so compromises are usually made, which end up feeling like their price tag isn't the grade. So we took this as a lesson. For our device today, we have nailed each category. Camera, design, performance, battery, and price. We want to disrupt the market by releasing a true all-rounder in the mid-range segment. So are you guys ready? Introducing the POCO X3 NFC, the very first X-series phone launch from POCO in Pakistan. We are super excited and very proud to bring this device to you today. I've been using this device for a couple of weeks and now I can confidently say it's really good. So shall we get started? We're going to start with design today. Exactly the design you need. Now I've always wanted to have a phone that just looks different on many occasions. Smartphones are starting to look very similar and we wanted to make sure that X3 really stand out. I'm not going to tease anymore, so let's just show it. There's the POCO X3. It's got super bold and standout design. Very eye-catching, and we spent a lot of time and effort to really make it unique, but yet premium. Now, when we deep dive into the design details, we have made a strong efforts. The stripe designs inspired by a classic racing design, which is why we call it a finish line design. By having this design, the POCO X3 differentiates from other products. As a fan of speed, I love it. And placed on the bottom and on the finish line, we have placed a big POCO logo with a standout chrome design. We wanted to make a statement with the logo, proud to own POCO. The logo itself actually changes color when you tilt in different angles. It's pretty cool. And when it comes to the whole back, we spend a lot of effort on designing, but we didn't slack when it comes to the actual high and hair experience. With that 3D curved back design, it looks sleek and feels great in your hand. Now, shall you take a look at the colors? So first we have the POCO X3 in the shadow gray. It looks absolutely stealth at night and stand out during the day. For those who wanted a bit more of a pop color, we do have another color. We also have the cobalt blue, a very cool color, beautiful under any lighting. I love this blue, the not too dark and not too bright, it's just right. Here are the two color variants. Both color variants are inspired by the racing car colors. And in order to achieve these stunning colors, it took almost 10 color processing each. Actually, let me show you. Now we have the cobalt blue and the shadow gray. Now if I tilt the phone in certain angles, you can see the logo color changes. It's hard to say which one is my favorite. I love both colors. Let us know in the comments below which one is your favorite. Now, we have talked how good it looks. Let's talk what's on the inside. We all know at the end of the day, it what really matters on the inside. Now, we believe in performance. That has always been part of the POCO heritage. Today is no different. We are going to give you exactly the performance you need. 
But first, we need to identify what is that you don't want. Laggy performance, unstable performance, slow performance. From personal experience and a mobile gamer myself, I cannot tolerate these words. When you're in the middle of a game or switching between the apps and there are just sudden lag, a shutter and happens more often. It really ruins the overall experience. So our first priority is to make sure these concerns don't exist. Which is why, for our solution, we have an awesome processor. Actually, we are going to be globally debuting the Qualcomm Snapdragon 732G. We are very excited to work with Qualcomm on this project. Now, the 732G was able to get an end to score over 300,000. To give you an idea on how good the score is, we compared it to the other two 700 series processor that are very popular, the 720G and the 730G. And the X3 featuring the 732G came out on top with quite the difference. In the mid-range segment, there's a very few phones that can compete with this score. Then let's look at the scoring in the sections, the CPU, GPU, AI, and compare it to the other 700 series processor. For the CPU, we came out on the top with a small difference. But the GPU, the 732G, really pulled away, which tells us that this processor can handle some gaming for sure. And when it comes to AI, a photo processing or virtual assistant, it beats out the competition completely. Let me talk about how it was able to achieve this. For the CPU, 732G took the best of 720G and 730G, improved it even more. With eight nanometer processor, it's power efficient, extra powerful with the processing up to 2.3 gigahertz, having two gold cores and six silver cores. The performance is very capable of some serious workload offering the best in class speed. The GPU is fueled by the Adreno 618, the elite gaming series by Qualcomm, really pushes Poco X3's hardware and software with some selected elite gaming features. Some of you guys know I'm a gamer. I've been gaming on the X3 for a while now. Actually, a couple of hours a day, at least, and it really delivers a great gaming performance every single day. When it comes to AI processing, the X3 can reach 3.6 trillion operations per second. That's mind-blowing fast. So you know, when you take a photo and when you want to look at it in the gallery and shows you that blurry image with the loading circle with 3.6 top, you're really going to see that loading circle again. After the comparisons against the 720G and 730G, the results is clear. 732G has taken the crown on being the leading 4G processor in 700 series this year. Whether if you are gaming with its GPU processing, power offering you a super smooth gaming experience, or multitasking, opening multiple apps at the same time, then switching between them, it can handle with ease. You won't need to clear your background apps so often. Or with AI, when you're trying to edit an already taken photo, it will be smooth, it will be fast. With the latest, the best 4G processor in the 700 series, you will always be fast. Now to pair with such awesome processor, we had to also match up the RAM and ROM technology with 6 GB LPDDR4X and up to 128 GB UFS 2.1. And if you want more storage, which I know it's still a hugely demanded option, we have also added expendable storage option up to 256 GB. So is that all exactly the performance you need? Come on fans, you guys should know Poker never just stopped there. Of course not. Introducing the liquid cool technology 1.0 plus. It's almost a tradition to put a liquid cool in our performance driven phones. Now you may realize we are calling it 1.0 plus. So in our first generation liquid cool, we had a thin copper heat pipe that absorbed the heat. This was a revolutionary technology that was driven by POCO. And we're always looking to improve it. So for our liquid cooling technology, 1.0 plus, we increase the heat pipe size by 70%, which allows more heat taken and cooling the device much faster. Better heat pipe is always better. Now, how does the structure works? Because the enlarged heat pipe placed directly above the CPU, and we are able to disperse the heat straight to the mid-frame, which then spread the heat even more. Then we have more layers of graphite covering directly behind the display that helps disperse the heat generated by the screen. So with liquid cooling technology 1.0 plus, 
CPU temperature can be cooled up to six degrees compared to devices that don't have liquid cooling technology. Keeping the phone very cool and sustaining the peak performance so you don't throttle in the middle of intense game of after hours of gaming. With the latest 4G processor, Snapdragon 732G, 6GB RAM, up to 128GB storage, and expendable storage, along with the liquid cooling technology 1.0 Plus. It's difficult to identify this is a mid-range segment setup. It's just so smooth. Now we talked about what we didn't want earlier. So what is our solution? Offering you a smooth gaming experience, fast performance, and sustainable performance when you need it. Exactly the performance you need. Now, we have talked about performance. We know that it's powerful. How do we actually see all the power? Does the Poco X3 have it all? What it take to display all of its performance and provide a great viewing experience? The simple answer is yes, we most certainly do. Like I said earlier on Poco, we deemed every part of the phone important and we put an extra effort in display. As we know, a lot of our users love gaming and watching videos on their phones. So once again, we had to make sure what we are creating is in any of these. Slow response display, a screen that shutters, and certainly not a small display. So what we're going to offer is a big 6.67 inches full HD plus display. It's a lot of screen. So you know it will be a great when it comes to streaming videos or gaming. It's actually the same size as our Poco F2 Pro. We have a dot display on the X3, which features a very tiny dot in the middle. It may be just the smallest dot in the market with just 3.8 millimeter of size. We wanted to make sure it doesn't obstruct any viewing experience. It's really small. You barely notice it. Now features, I know you guys are excited, but let's take a look at something first. In 2020, refresh rate has been a hot topic in the smartphone industry. And if you look at the market as a whole, there's only a few devices on the market that has 120 hertz. And most of our flagship devices, which means they are priced over one lakh rupees. Pricing out many who are hoping to afford these latest technology. And at Poco, we love Hertz. We deem it's a very important feature. I love Hertz, 60 frames per second is great, but I always want it better. I need the high refresh rate to up my game. With the X3, we have a flagship refresh rate of 120 Hertz. This was a crucial decision for us. We really dug deep into the really finding out what our fans want. With the 120 Hertz, the screen refreshes 100% faster than 60 hertz. Let's show you the difference between the 60 hertz and the 120 hertz. As you can see, with 120 hertz, you are getting a much smoother scrolling. This will be easier on your eyes. Super useful when you're scrolling on Twitter, web browsing, or Instagram. I did not realize the difference until I switched to 120 hertz, and something just felt different. Everything felt faster, and it's awesome. But the question we also had to consider, do we always need 120 Hz? Then our team discovered that actually most content doesn't support 120 Hz. So will 120 Hz activate it on all the time to drain the performance and battery? Most likely, however, our display is dynamic. Let me show you what it means. Our 120 Hz display actually has two technology to conserve battery for you automatically. We can call this dynamic switch. It can automatically switch hertz rate based on the content you're viewing on the phone. For example, if you are recording or watching videos, it will adjust to 60 frames per second. And if you switch to certain game, it can up to 90 hertz with 90 frames per second for mobile gaming. A smooth gaming experience, but it can detect even more. And can also automatically go back up to 120 hertz of high performance gaming if the game supports, and it's pretty smart tech. The second feature is actually when you're viewing a photo from gallery, or a still image in general, it will automatically drop to 50 hertz. Pretty cool, right? 120 hertz is great, but more optimization is always better. 
So the result of dynamic switch is actually all about giving you 120 hertz smooth viewing when necessary and power efficiency when it's under 90 hertz and advanced software technology that is smart in power consumption. We have discussed about refresh rate. What about touch sampling rate? It's a super important feature for the mobile gamers out there. For the POCO X3, we have a flagship touch sampling rate of 240 Hz. In fact, with 240 Hz, we are second fastest in the market, really focused on making the gaming experience as great as possible. As we know, the popular game these days are shooters or racing games. Most phones and even flagship phones actually have a 180 Hz touch sampling rate, which makes the POCO X3 33% faster in touch sampling rate. We have recorded a comparison video between the POCO X3 and Samsung A71, which features a 120Hz touch sampling rate tested by our internal labs. This is to showcase how it can give you an advantage in gaming. Let's have a look. In order to test this, we put the two devices under the robotic arms that touches the turbo button. Now if you take a look at the X3, the difference is the turbo blue light the lit ups under the car. Because our screen detects faster, you can see. Then our turbo light comes up first. A small advantage, but in gaming, that's a game changer. If you do some simple math, 120 hertz plus 240 hz offering you a 360 all-rounder smooth gaming experience. We want to take care of all the gamers out there, making sure we can optimize the best viewing and touch experience for them. Now besides having these awesome features, we also took the time to get our screen certified. We have three certifications for our display. Turf Greenland, low blue light to reduce damage to your eyes while maintaining a quality. HDR10 for optimizing colors and HD content. And of course, Widevine L1 certification so HD Netflix and Prime Video will be available to you in HD quality. To sum up, all the favorite features, a big 6.7 inches dot display with a tiny punch hole. We have a smooth 120 hertz refresh rate that's a flagship level giving you a smooth experience in scrolling or gaming. Dynamic switch technology that conserves battery for you automatically. And 240 hertz touch sampling rate, one of the fastest in the market. Or did we mention we're also covered by Corning Gorilla Glass 5 on the front for durability. So it can take some scratches here and there. So the solution to give you exactly the display you need, a fast response display, a smooth viewing display, a big display. Now, some of you may be questioning, with the high refresh rate, is it going to drain the battery? Nope. We definitely have exactly the battery you need. Again, we want to identify what we don't want. A empty battery, a slow to charge. To avoid those points, we put in a massive 5160mAh battery. Just over two days long battery on a single charge. You won't need to worry about all the performance winning the battery. This can handle it. I use my phone a lot, especially tweeting or Instagramming. I do a lot of testing and gaming. And yet, with this massive battery, I don't have to need to carry my power bank around all of my time. On a single charge, you could play 10 hours of gaming or 17 hours of video playback. X3 has enough battery to really give you hours of entertainment. Binging on everything wouldn't be issue at all. But you gotta charge up to some point, right? We have a flagship 33 watt fast charging with a USB-C charger, just 66 minutes to 100%. For a 5160mAh battery, we're also including a 33 watt fast charger in the box and you'll charge up in no time. Now, if you look at a charging comparison with Samsung A71, which features a 4500mAh battery and 25W fast charger, 660mAh less and only 5W in fast charging, which actually reaches 100% in 65 minutes, while they take 15 minutes more. To achieve that, we used a real smart charging technology. Middle middle tab technology, in short MMT, Usually with no MMT, when you plug in your phone, the electric current is coming from the bottom of the battery and then charging up. The result is to charging really fast from zero to 60%. Then resistance starts to build up and charging slows down. But with MMT, 
you have two electronic current charging at the same time. So it's more consistent and faster because it's charging from the middle of the battery and charging in two different directions. So less resistance, you guys must know that struggle when you've got somewhere to go and it charged to 99% and it's taking forever for the last person. But with MMT charging from zero to 10% and when you are at 90% to 100%, the speed is very, very similar. So with the Poco X3, you don't need to worry about running out of battery. It got over two days of battery life, along with 33 watt fast charging, exactly the battery you need. Now, we recap with the three big things we talked about. Snapdragon 732G, 120Hz dot display, and 5160mAh battery. These three key features really makes up exactly the gaming you need. But that's not all. When it comes to having a complete game experience, we have more. We have a Z-axis linear motor, which is a great haptic, super responsive when you are gaming and giving you the ultimate feel experience. It's not common to have such a great haptic in a mid-range phone, but we felt that it's a necessity. Every click you feel, I have a feedback. So I had to make sure the feedback felt good. To take it up to the next level, we have also have a dual speaker setup on the Poco X3. So when your earphones starts hurting, your ears, after using them for a long period of time, you can still enjoy an immersive audio experience with two large sound cavity placed on the top and bottom of the X3. We made this awesome video where you use the self-cleaning speaker function to blow dust out of the speaker. It's pretty awesome. With just one click in settings, your speaker will clean itself. On the software end of the gaming, we do have Game Turbo 3.0 that has even more gaming optimization for you, such as performance mode, pushing maximum performance to what you're playing, network optimization, so it will choose the best network between Wi-Fi and 4G connectivity, sound quality optimization, very important. When it comes to a game like Shooter FPS, PUBG, you don't want to miss a step. And a really fun feature, voice changer. Honestly, this is a hilarious feature, can change your voice completely. To sum up the X3's gaming performance, it got the latest processor for Qualcomm. As we know, it's great for gaming. Liquid cooling technology 1.0 plus to make sure you have a sustainable peak performance. 120 hertz refresh rate and 240 hertz touch sampling rate for fast response gaming viewing and touch experience. Z-axis linear motor, stereo speaker, and Game Turbo 3.0. Powering all these amazing performance, we have a 5160mAh battery that also supports 33 watt fast charge. We have an awesome news to share with you as well. In order to announce next set of exciting activities that we have lined up for you, I would like to call Rabab back on stage. Thank you, Sufyan. So as part of its vision, POCO aims to bring together the ultimate experience with the latest technology for its large user base. And they do that by bringing together the best of innovation. So who could explain all of this better than the gaming experts themselves? Yes, you guys have it absolutely right. We have the best of best from Pakistan. And I am super excited to welcome on stage the all-star team which includes Pakistan's biggest gaming YouTuber, Ducky Bhai, and the biggest tech vloggers of Pakistan, Bilal Muni from Video Wali Sarkar, Ali Abbas from Mastech, Atik from Metal Gaming, and Akram Ali from Tech for Test and Pro Pakistani. Let's welcome them all. All you guys are watching us from home. If you're interested to join us in Power Pack Gaming Session with these fabulous guys, keep following our social media pages to participate and win exciting prizes. Thank you so much for joining us here. You guys are all amazing. And now over to you, Sufyan. Thank you, thank you, Rabab. So this is the all-star team. Now, we're going to move on to camera, and I'm super excited for this one. Poco X3 features a flagship level quad camera. Yes, we have seen a lot of quad cameras this year, but at the mid-range, it's still not the common choice. 
64 megapixel main sensor, 119 degree ultra wide angle camera, a macro camera for a depth sensor. So let's start with a 64 megapixel main camera. POCO X3 NFC uses as industry leading 64 megapixel Sony IMX 682 sensor. This has a huge sensor size and 1.6 micron 4 in 1 super pixel. With this, the Sony IMX 682 produces amazing image quality with precise colors and rich details. Let's show you guys some shots. Shall we start with a 64 megapixel? The specific photo was shot by one of my colleagues in Malaysia. Ultra clear with sharp details. Even when the photo has a lot to process, it doesn't miss any details. It's great when you just want to take a swingy shot or a quick shot. And then we have a 13 megapixel ultra wide that can capture 119 degree angle. Now this is an awesome photo and I love it. We captured so much here and was able to get the circle in the middle to look similar than it actually is. We actually thought of trying to capture the photo without having the massive crane, but I thought it looks pretty natural, wide and beautiful. Let's talk about the macro now, a lens that I believe people just don't use enough. It's such a cool feature. We wanted to shoot something that you could potentially find at home and maybe something just naturally not pleasing, but when you look close, it can be super cool. We took a shot of just a cock structure and it just looks magnificent. And for the depth sensor for portrait mode. The details on the image, the blurred background just right with the model perfectly cut for all the right details, very on point. Now we do know in the year of 2020, people haven't been able to travel a lot, mostly spending time at home or at the office. So we want to show some very easy to use and very cool feature for you to turn your everyday content in extraordinary content. For the first feature, I named it Poco Stays Classy with Gold. Let me show you what it means. For example, we take an awesome shot like this, already very nicely taken. Just right in the middle of Chicago in USA, we captured a lot of light at night, but we want to make it even more rich. With our new filter, Gold Vibes Mode, it honestly just so awesome, I felt like this could be a scene out of the great Gatsby. The air processing and details is just top notch right here. But not only night time, you can also try out day shots like this. It just need bit of a shadow and make it very classy. Honestly, a really cool filter. Besides stay classy at Poco, we must also look towards what the future might look like. So our next filter, Again, we take this pretty cool shot of the Japan herbal life and change it to cyberpunk mode. This adds a very sci-fi feel for your picture. Enhancing the night shots with neon effect, you guys must try this. Another very cool feature we have is AI skyscaping 3.0. We have made some major improvements and there is something special about this version. You can actually turn your daytime sky into night with specific effects. Let's have a look. You can now change any daytime shots into a nighttime shot with the northern lights. How cool is that? So with AI Skyscaping 3.0, you can actually do a lot more, a lot of different options to let you explore your creativity. Now, we've also have Kaleidoscope mode on POCO X3. In this specific video, we only used architecture and buildings. Just something simple to make it look really cool. Let's have a look in the video. As always, tag us on hashtag shot on Poco when you get your X3 and take your beautiful shots, we would love to see it. So to sum it all up, exactly the camera you need. Not only we have a flagship level quad camera, we make sure we added features that can really take your content and give it a different feel. We believe with so many features, you have a lot of fun playing with it. Photography is one of the key components that makes Poco X3 an epic phone. Taking things further with some of the 
most influential content creators and photographers of Pakistan. We'll begin a short session right after this. all of these details Sufyan now you've made us all very curious as to how amazing this device is going to be especially for all those selfie fanatics out there and the photography lovers you're absolutely right Rabab and who can explain it better than the experts and quite luckily we have some amazing artists and content creators and some photographers here with us today let's please invite them on stage for an interesting discussion so without further ado, I would like to welcome on stage the really talented and young content creators Maham Iqbal Bosan, Arfa, Yukano and OPM. Let's welcome them all. So we welcome you all. We're very excited to have all of you here with us. So my first question uh, for all of you is this, that do you feel that um, mobile photography could ever be taken seriously like art, the way traditional photography is taken? So I think uh, photography was always um, an art, because uh, this has been a business now. But it was only art. Hi hota tha. Uh, and, um, mobile photography, yeah. do you feel like it can ever be taken seriously the way that you take traditional photography seriously? Yeah, I think uh, in, um, in the previous years or in the last decade, if we see, uh, we didn't have a lot of good phones, uh, to be honest, because everybody, uh, if you have to have a good picture, I think we would call someone and we would ask them to take a picture and uh, we always had, you know, we were looking for a, pic for a person who has a DSLR. So DSLR was a big thing. If you have a camera, you know you can get a good picture. But it's not the same now because of the new smartphones that are coming. I completely agree. I think Instagram, which people use, it's mostly based on mobile photography. No DSLR is out of it. So I think the next generation, it is very, very much into mobile photography instead of DSLRs. So do you also feel that smartphones could sort of replace traditional cameras totally or do you feel like they have some shortcomings which cannot which need work to be done on them i think in particular uh, fashion photography cannot be replaced by mobile photography Uske lawa, i feel like everything can be replaced with mobile photography so what is the most important key factor when it comes to the quad camera setups we have all over the industry these days obviously uh, the good camera in a phone um, you know, I matters think a the lot. quality also and yeah. the ability to be able to edit the pictures once the picture has been taken. So if you guys prioritize that, if you compare a macro, an ultra wide angle and a 64 megapixel primary camera, which would be the first call for you guys? You would need a device which has all these options, not just one, not just an ultra wide lens. Because if you have a DSLR and you want to take an ultra wide picture, you would change the lens. If you want to take a portrait, if you want to take a portrait, you put a portrait lens. So in a smartphone, the new upcoming smartphone, you can just by a click, you can just go to a different lens, you can choose whatever you want. But like let's if I ask how we should prioritize it as individual users you guys are. I think it totally depends on the location you are because uh, I'm a big fan of wide angle photography. So for me having a, a poco phone with a wide angle lens is like a dream come true. Rather than carrying a six kilo of uh, DSLR with me, I can just go on the street and take beautiful images very easily. Exactly. And what about the 4K video recording option? Do you guys ever use that? Do you think that comes in handy? Um, we do use that and also the, uh, the wide angle because when, for, uh, for instance, I'm a travel vlogger. So we do everything on our own. We don't have a DOP recording as we don't have a director. So when you're filming yourself like this, you need a wide angle and then you also need to be in a good resolution. So 4K and wide angle or ultra wide for me is very important and it also then replaces GoPro for me because GoPro is then an, another uh, device that you have to take out the data from and charge it and then take it out. So if you have uh, all in one uh, phone, it completely replaces the devices for me. So I believe uh, how it works is that the publishing and the editing and everything, all of these features also come in handy yes. for you rather than just the camera it, or the resolution. It needs to be all in one because for me, taking out the camera, making it ready, I will miss the shot if there is something that I need to capture instantly. But if you have a phone on you that has all the pro, pro uh, uh, settings, 
For instance, this one has the pro settings. It shoots in flat rather than giving you the original colors. You can edit it later on. I did shoot a video with this earlier as well. So for me, that was very important. And also the mic, because right now we're mic'd up, so we have this crisp audio. But when I was filming with this on my skateboard, the wind uh, breaker, the, the sound was crisp. And that's what I told him when I came. I was like, finally, a good mic on it, finally. Because the visuals, you keep on improving, but there are phones that will compete with you on it. But with the mic, you can't compete with that because nobody's improving that factor and this phone finally has that. So this phone is like a solution to all the it problems. For me. Yeah, for even me. for photography, uh, if when I'm traveling, I'm a travel photographer as well. So this is perfect. I'll be able to take a macro shot, a wide angle shot, a portrait shot at the same place. And then I'll go sit in a cafe and edit at the same time and upload on Instagram. So this is like a one stop solution to all of my needs. Rather than carrying multiple devices with me, this is one single device that s solves all the problems. And on that note, like uh, since you're into travel photography and everything, could you give uh, some sort of advice to people who really want to up their game when it comes to Instagram photography or like, you know, they want to take good pictures with their smartphones. Are there any tips that you would like to give them? Yeah, definitely. The one thing that I would like uh, to Im insist on is that please try different angles rather than just taking selfies on this pose. Uh, try different angles. I assure you things will come out extremely beautiful. You'll be surprised by it. And yeah, your friends will totally like it as well. So what is the most favorite feature from POCO X3? Uh, mine was the portrait mode that I saw in the camera. Because, you know, that was one of the reasons why people used to get a DSLR. And they would, you know, put up a 50mm lens, a portrait lens, a 35 or 85mm with a low aperture. So the low aperture, you had to, you know, you, you had to spend a lot to get a good lens which cost a lot and I think this phone is the same price for that but you get everything in that one phone so it helps a lot. So Maham, what's your... I think the 64 megapixel because I edited the pictures that I showed today on Photoshop and it was crisp. Usually the camera ki pictures hoti and they, they lose their quality once you edit them on Photoshop. So for me that, that was the winner. Over to Arfa. Uh, yeah, definitely the portrait mod. Uh, the AI, mo AI of this phone is extremely enhanced and I was amazed by the quality. The hairs were completely different. They weren't merged like other portrait mods and other phones. So yeah, for me, that was the winner. So for me, when uh, I got the phone, I had to create content. And the first thing I thought was like, yeah, gimbal pakar leta hon, cause stabilization ka masla hoga. So I was short in time. I took the camera, completely stable. The second option was, uh, fast mode, uh, capturing fast moving objects. That was very interesting for me because again, uh, fast mo moving objects and traveling, I need it to be crisp. So these two were very, uh, my favorite and again, the other two were the ultra wide and the, the, the mic. So I think that's pretty much enough. Thank you so discuss. much for joining us here yeah. and I hope all of you continue doing splendid work and we keep seeing it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Thank, Thank you for Thank having you. us. Thank, Thank you. you. through some very exciting features, but that's not all. There's still a few more details that really completes the X3 experience. Some essential features, IR blaster, NFC, and headphone jack. We incorporated these three key features because till this day, we believe it enhances our users' lives on a daily basis. I didn't know how important IR blaster was until recently I started using it to control every home electronics at home. It's just so easy. We have also added a fingerprint sensor and power button. Another feature that offers a great handle experience along with the 3D curved back design we mentioned earlier in the presentation. While we are on durability, we also took the extra step to get out X3 tested by Tough SUD for IP53 splash proof protection. So in case when the rain comes out of nowhere, you'll be okay. When you get your X3, you will also get an antibacterial case in box. Your x also already have a screen protector applied to the phone, making your unboxing experience even more complete. When it comes to software, I believe many of you already know that MIUI 12 was launched a few months ago. For the X3, it will running MIUI 12 for the POCO and the POCO Launcher 2.0 straight out of the box. It got plenty of cool features on the OS. For example, you can actually cast the game you are playing on the TV for a bigger visual experience and maybe your friends want to see how you're doing a game. 
We know a lot of our fans like to keep their phones up to date. We are constantly improving and we are able to make sure that for Poco X3, we will have three years of consistent updates. I'm sure many Poco fans know the feeling of when you see that there is a new system update. You can click on it without any hesitation because you know the red notification will stay there. The feeling is so satisfying after the update, not only that. For the very first time, we will have kernel sources available for our users at sales launch. We know a lot of our fans want kernel sources so they can really customize the device to their fullest content. So we pushed for this and made it happen just for our users. With these, some may say, small details, we believe each and one of those features will enhance our users' overall experience. We want to nail the basics to ensure you have exactly the experience you need. Let's take a look at the product video. Amazing. Stay with me fans, we're almost there, but let's recap everything I've talked about so far. Each of these features were really handpicked and chosen after a long period of research and even me personally asking the fans on Twitter what matters. We went over design, performance, battery and camera, hitting each target on point. Do you guys see what's missing on the slide? Yes, the price. I have brought exactly the price you want here. It's a very bold statement, but we are confident we at POCO will give you exactly the price you want. For the 6GB plus 128GB variant, we have an amazing price starting at rupees 41,000 And of course, we also have an early bird price starting at 40,999. Truly amazing value. This is POCO most aggressive pricing yet. Now let's have a look at this chart. If you take a look at our features and specs, if you, see, if you can see, we beat out A71 and a lot of features. What gives this even more of an impact, we actually starts at 40,999 rupees. And that's a 28,000 rupees in difference, almost half the price. This is our most aggressive pricing yet from Poco. Over to Rubab now. that all of you know how much the POCO X3 actually costs, I want you to also find out about all these amazing offers and sales that you can avail on the Ras Pakistan. And for that, I would like to invite on stage Mr. Faisal Malik from the Ras to come here and tell you more about it. Thank you, Rubab, for an uh, introduction. Let me first start uh, sharing the journey of Daraz and Xiaomi here in Pakistan. It started back in 2016, the very first time Xiaomi was launched and introduced by Daraz. And since then, it has been a very exciting journey of last four years. We have been through so many launches, so many campaigns, and so many flash sales and sold thousands of devices to thousands of the satisfied users over the period of time. 
And yet here, once again, after a successful launch of POCO F2 Pro back in April, we are equally excited and thrilled to launch POCO X3 at the RAS. And the pre-booking will start tonight, right after this event at 7 p.m. With an early bird offer of free shipping, POCO X3 is an amazing device. And it is coming up first time ever with 732G Snapdragon processor. And we are looking forward to have an amazing partnership in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Faisal. And now, this offer will also be available at Misha.pk, where you can avail a limited time bundle offer at pre-booking for Mi 10,000 mAh power bank. And you can also avail the free shipping. And this offer will also be available at aircar.pk, where you can avail the same limited time bundle offer of Mi 10,000 mAh power bank with the free shipping at the pre-booking. First come, first serve basis. So as you addressed earlier, pre-booking starts tonight at 7 p.m. onwards on all of these platforms, Daraz.pk, Mr.pk, and Aircard as well, with our four distributors, Smartlink Technologies, Texarat, Airlink Communication, and Funzu. POCO X3 NFC, exactly what you need. We want to thank all of our fans, media, and our partners for joining us today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. It's been a blast and absolute pleasure sharing with you guys today. Stay safe, stay cool. Until next time, thank you. So now let's start the most exciting segment, the tech segment. And today we have the tech gurus of Pakistan with us. So we have Bilal Munir from Video Ali Sarkar, Ali Abbas from Mass Tech, and Akram Ali from Tech for Test and Pro Pakistani. So let's get started. So guys, how you guys feeling about this Poco X3? You guys have been using this from last couple of weeks now. And now what do you guys think? Like what is the most key component feature when it comes to X3? Bilal. So, uh, when I looked at POCO X3, uh, one thing that I really felt was the fact that this device has been uh, made with gamers in mind. And yes, there are features which everyone can use and it can be used as a normal device as well. But I saw many features that were directly targeting gamers. And 120Hz in this price segment was something that I have never seen. In fact, 120Hz uh, in any price segment below that 1 lakh range is very, very difficult to find in Pakistani market. So that was a new thing for me. In fact, when I looked at the specification for the first time, uh, my question was, is it really 120 hertz or is this a typo or something? Because 90 hertz is the standard in this price exactly. So that was the main thing that I really liked about this device. And my main impression was that this is made for gamers. So the collaboration between the POCO and the Qualcomm team to introduce the global debut of the 732G chipset as we've seen a couple of 700 series chipset this year, 720G and 730G. So what's your take on 732? Uh, as far as 732 is concerned, uh, like I didn't get much of a chance to li like really test it because the devices we were testing were basically uh, in the starting phase and uh, that was the reason we didn't uh, talk about it more. But uh, the thing is, it's 732G. We already know that 730G is performing really well. So we can expect that it's going to be much better than that. And it's already giving out some great results when it comes to gaming. Like in Call of Duty, I'm hoping that it will give us maximum settings. And I plan to use it more for gaming and then give out my final opinion. But I am really excited about this device right now. So do you think that anyone else can beat us within this year? In um, this 700 series chipset, within the price segment which we are going to announce. I mean, uh, as far as the market is concerned, I cannot guarantee that this will not happen because right now everyone is going aggressive. But uh, the price segment that you guys announced today was not expected by anyone. Like, not by tech reviewers, not by companies. I, and I know for a fact nobody was uh, expecting that this price segment uh, will be uh, handling by a POCO X3 because we were expecting somewhere around like 50 and some people were guessing that even in the flash sale or something we'll get something like 45,000. 
So yeah, I don't think so. That is easy to do, but you can't really say anything because there are many brands and everyone is competing. So Basvi, what's your take on the process and the display which we just discussed with Bilal? Just like Sufyan, boy, Bilal has talked. I completely agree with this because in this price segment, one to 120 has refreshed rate. And the other thing I noticed, for some time, I noticed that I was playing on gaming. I thought it was very good. It was the liquid cooling version 1.0 plus. This phone it's too cool for me. I mean, you get more heat from the back side. And the other thing is that you can use any high-intense, high-graphic game on the maximum graphics. One thing. The other thing is that the switching you have used in the digital switch, which Poco X3 has been used, which we have been using the refresh rate during the game. I literally noticed that I didn't feel that I was using I am using a mid-range phone. I was getting a graphic top of the end, top of the line. And there was a fire connectivity. Mostly people are playing with gyro, so I checked a little bit about gyro. But the fire connectivity is too good. And the third thing is that the front of the Gorilla Glass is the same experience. It is quite smooth. I personally like it. And in this price segment, I didn't expect it. I was expecting it as high price. But although, Xiaomi has done it. Exactly, exactly. You know, the dynamic switch, which we recently introduced in this refresh rate and the display. So, I have also used a lot of phones and I was using it. But the switch, it doesn't feel like you. It doesn't feel like you. Literally feel like you. Like, Akram, what do you think about it? Sir, 120 Hz has become the trend of the day. And to bring it to this price segment is definitely a big milestone for Poco. Secondly, sir, scrolling has been more into use uh, than the cameras and videos. Because you have Instagram, Facebook and website, you have to scroll a lot. And for that, we need to have a top-of-the-line refresh rate. Secondly, sir, processor, if we talk about 732G plus Adreno 618 alongside AI gaming, which makes it, you know, true to live gaming. So, this is a triple uh, trio, right? It's a killing combination. So, price ke point of view, definitely Pakistani log karte hai, tarazu mein tolte hai. But overall, agar aap price segment ko hatayein bhi, to ye definitely a powerful device hai. Isko mid range ke ana thoda sa, you know, underrated karna hoga isko. So, ek acha gaming jo processor hota hai, wo definitely aapke overall jo tasks hote hai, unko to vaisi smooth kar deta hai. So if you have a gaming processor in a phone, that means that you don't have a normal usage or even power usage issue. So it's a great move by Poco that they have added to the balanced settings of the balance. I hope you understand my point. Exactly. Sufyan, I want to include one thing here. And as long as I have played gaming, the processor is much optimized. It means that the processor is optimized and the battery drain is not optimized. So I also noticed that the battery drain was also working, although I was playing 60 FPS gameplay. और टच भी स्मूथ मिल रहा था और हाई ग्राफिक्स पर गेम कर रहा था और आई वाज एक्सपेक्टिंग कि शायद बैटरी लेकिन नहीं पोको ने बहुत अच्छा बैटरी बैकअप मुझे प्रोवाइड किया इवन दो बैटरी कंसेप्शन बहुत कम थी साथ के साथ लिक्विड कूलिंग अपना काम कर रहा था तो एक कॉम्बो कहूँगा स्पेशली फॉर द गेमर्स जिनके पास बजट है फोर्टी टू फोर्टी टू थाउजेंड वो बिल्कुल कंसीडर कर सकते हैं और बिल्कुल अच्छा एक स्पूट गेम प्ले जो कि एम एम टी फीचर है हमारी बैटरी के लिए जो थ्री थ्री वॉट की फास्ट चार्जिंग है उससे भी we get a lot of support in terms of gaming. हाँ बिल्कुल जी. This is the chipset to go. And as far as the 4G and 5G debate is concerned, in Pakistan, I think Xiaomi is the only brand which is actually launching the 5G version of phone. Because it's already been launched by F2 Pro, if you see. Yeah. So other brands, even if they have a cell phone that is 5G capable, they are not launching the 5G variant. And that is the reason that I have been discussing. That due to the fact that they are not launching the 5G variants, we are also missing out on features like more RAM. Like their 5G counterparts have more RAM, so we RAM come mil rahi hai. Their 5G counterparts have better cooling, so we cooling come mil rahi hai. So I remember talking to you uh, when you told me about the last 5G phone, and I said, Ke, are we actually launching the 5G variant?" And you said, "Yes, we are." So that is something that we are already planning ahead, and I know 5G is not here yet. But it's a good move that Xiaomi is not holding back. Even if you uh, want to hold back and you can just lower the RAM and release a 4G variant, and still, it still will be the device you are launching. But 5G uh, is the thing to go or future will come, so it's better that we do it first. And 4G, ke andar, this is the device. 
स्पेशली वो वाली फोर जी मार्केट जो एक्चुअल फोर जी है बिकॉज अब तो जो फाइव जी फोन है उनको भी यहाँ पे फोर जी में लेके आ रहे हैं उनसे कंपेरिजन तो नहीं बनता लाइक पोको ने पहली दफा अपना मिड रेंज सेगमेंट का फोन लॉन्च किया आप कह सकते हैं पोको एफ वन एस के बाद दो अच्छा। साल बाद इस, इस लेवल पे एंट्री कर रहा है और बड़ी एग्रेसिवली एंट्री कर रहा है मतलब बहुत अच्छा कम्पीट कर रहा है लेटेस्ट जैसे एफ वन तो हमारा एक फ्लैगशिप सीरीज थी और फ्लैगशिप को so we were giving 845 at that time yep. within that price range segment and then we had a gap of one year and yeah. then we recently launched F2 Pro yeah. which is a leading chipset of the year which is 865, 865 with the 5G right, technology right. so now today we are leading the 4G segment with the mid range level which is X3 which is yes. so okay. you guys so uh, i would like to include here that uh, I'm getting excited about this device more than the F series and you might be wondering why i'm saying this Uh, F series is the flagship series, and I know it's a better phone. It's a more powerful phone, obviously because it's a flagship series phone. But when you consider Pakistani market, what excites me is that this phone is for the masses. Everyone can buy this. Exactly. Forty thousand, fifty thousand, thirty thousand. These are the three price segments that I believe phones sell in Pakistan. If you uh, make a good flagship device and you make it perfect flagship device, and it is priced around like one lakh, no matter what you put it in. still they are going to be people uh, who want to buy that device but they don't have the budget so this device is the device that this market needs and that is what is exciting me about this yeah and that's why we have recently launched the first ever poco's launch event with the x3 because now as you see that poco fans are increasing day by day in pakistan and with the support of the really positive word of mouth from you guys we have decided ki hum agle saal isko aage aur zyada Right. Yeah. Focus करें. Best of luck the for the. And this is like going to be our entirely new brand, and we're going to be launching Poco Pakistan really soon on all of our social media platforms as well. So that is a very good thing to hear. That is, yeah, exactly. Because any time a new brand right. comes up, it's more competition, it's more room for innovation, and uh, it's better device for any consumer out there. Besides, you know, the consumer has a lot to choose from. You know, they have much more options. it makes you guys competitive between yourselves like with other brands and the consumer gets the advantage out of that competition and back to your question like 732g would be the end processor for this year it wouldn't be if the price would not be this because you guys are setting a trend to give the maximum level of performance in the lowest possible cost that might be difficult for you for the future phones but for now it's a great move as so a that's company. what our promise to our core fans that we will continue no, to not disappoint anyone legacy, when it comes yeah. to the pricing yeah. obviously yeah, if exactly. you continue the legacy obviously Xiaomi fans Poco fans they will increase and they have been increasing drastically with the passage of time and that is because you guys are giving the performance in the lowest possible cost So obviously, if you you know compare your device with your previous devices, it's miles ahead with even them. Exactly, I totally agree with you, Akram, on this. So let's discuss at the last about the camera. Yeah, for sure. Cameras yeah. are last but not the least. Exactly. Ali, bhai, se pooch le. Ali, bhai, the camera. 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 बट कैमरा को डिफरेंट लाइट कंडीशंस में भी चेक करना होता है ऑल दो फर्स्ट इंप्रेशन के लिए अगर रियर कैमरा की बात की जाए तो 64 मेगापिक्सल में साथ कैमरा ऐप के साथ काफ़ी ज़्यादा इन्हेंस भी किया है इवन तो आपको नाइट के अंदर जो स्पेशली मैं मेरी नज़र में वो कैमरा फोन अच्छा है जो जो इंडोर लाइट्स कंडीशन में अच्छा काम करता है बिकॉज डे लाइट में तो सारे फोन अच्छा काम exactly. कर लेते हैं और साथ के साथ हमें रियर पर ई आई की सपोर्ट मिल रही है फॉर द ब्लॉगिंग पर्पज और हमें अल्ट्राबाइक सेंसर में भी काफ़ी इंप्रूवमेंट नजर आई फॉर द फर्स्ट इंप्रेशन में कहूँगा प्रिटी डिसेंट और फ्रंट साइड पर हमने 20 मेगापिक्सल का सेल्फी कैमरा भी देखा जहां पर हम स्लो मो वीडियोज़ भी रिकॉर्ड कर सकते हैं और ये खासकर उनके लिए भी है जिनको आजकल इवन तो मुझे भी सुफियान तो भाई कभी स्टेटस लगाना हो तो मैं कहता हूँ यार फ्रंट कैमरा से स्लो मोशन बनाया जाए तो स्लो मो अच्छा आ जाए तो प्रीडी डिसेंट ऑन द फर्स्ट इंप्रेशन में कहूँगा काफ़ी डिसेंट सो लाइक ए आई मोड के अंदर लाइक जितने हम फीचर्स एड कर रहे हैं डे बाई डे विद न्यू अपडेट्स सो वट्स यूर टेक ऑन दैट लाइक एनी वन ऑफ यू वॉन्टेड टू हाईलाइट ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक दैट द काइंड ऑफ न्यू फीचर्स वीर गोइंग टू लॉन्च Like, um i saw uh, the feature you mentioned in the keynote uh, the feature where you can take a picture and you can give it a cyberpunk look exactly exactly and that is a feature that is really exciting me because uh, that is unique and right now 
I am seeing that most of the cell phones are coming up with similar set of feature. So whenever something new comes up, something fun comes up, this is something that I want to try. Because I am reviewing devices day in and day out. So it's basically the same thing for me. But when some small feature, like a small detail changes, that is where I get excited. And one thing that I really want to include about this camera, which is not about the camera performance, is the design. For me, any cell phone should be recognizable. Any cell phone you hold in your hand should be a device that anyone can recognize from afar. And that is something that you have mastered. Most of the time, this is a feature that we see in flagship devices. Like whenever you see a flagship device, uh, it's a device that can be recognized. But this camera design is a very unique design. I've never seen this design in any other cell phone. So that is something that I really like. And uh, this gives this phone a pretty it new It gives look. you a proper bold statement. Yeah, of exactly. Having a like poco on your hand. If you see the reflection, if you tilt the phone from the yeah, back, it shows poco. you can see a rainbow gradient going on. Yeah. So, thoda sa agar camera system ko main reverse engineer karu aur AI ki cheeze tab maza deti hain main users ko ye baat batana chahu jab camera ke sensors bade ho so we have 0.8 micrometer sensor uh, 64 ke andar and 13 jo MP ultra wide hai usme 1.0 micrometer ka sensor hai bigger sensor means bigger size of the pixel and bigger size of the sensor means a lot of light could be You know, exactly. pass from the sensor or फिर उसके बाद ये ए आई और ये चीज़ें इफेक्ट्स ये तब उस चीज़ का मज़ा दोबाला करते हैं सो बींग टेक रिव्यू एस हमारा काम है लोगों को ये बताना कि सेंसर्स और इन चीज़ों का क्या सीनरियो है और ऐसा नहीं है कि पोको ने कोई क्वालिटी पर कॉम्प्रोमाइज़ करके और यू नो लोगों को मैनीपुलेट किया हो फैंस को मैनीपुलेट किया हो नहीं यहाँ पर प्रॉपर सेंसर्स इस्तेमाल किए गए हैं एंड द मेगा पिक्सल नंबर्स आर ट्रू सो ये चीज़ें एआई की इफेक्ट वगैरह तभी मजा करते हैं जब आपके पास सेंसर्स हाई क्वालिटी के हो थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच दैट्स रियली इंसाइटफुल यू नो यू कैन से फॉर द ऑडियंस टू सी के लाइक जो कैमरास हैं जिस तरह वी कैन सी इन द इंडस्ट्री के कैमरास के ऊपर बहुत ज़्यादा लोग जा रहे हैं बट वर्ट्स रियली इन साइड दैटन मार्क सो थैंक यू सो मच गाइज फॉर जॉइनिंग एस टूडे एंड दैट्स ऑल फॉक्स फॉर टू नाइट Thank you so much. Thank you so much everyone. Thank you for tuning in and for joining us for this fabulous evening. I hope you all had a good time. Personally I cannot wait to get my hands on my Poco X3 and I would urge you all to go check out these devices because they're really awesome until next time thank you and goodbye